Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. This is Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we will cover about Bootstrap layouts. So when you start with your any Angular application, obviously you will need some kind of a site framework or you can also call it a layout for your application. We will require us to create some components which can be reused across all the template. So in this tutorial, in this particular episode, we will learn about uh, all that about how to create bootstrap layouts. So this is a part of Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. There are around 29 to 30 videos that I'm going to share with you. So please make sure you have gone through all of them to learn how to work with Angular and Bootstrap. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling this data. To, so please support me by subscribing and liking my videos. These tutorials are good for beginners as well as for experienced professionals. Finally, if you have any doubts, just ask me and I'll be happy to help you for free. So to, in this particular episode, uh, to work with Bootstrap layouts, we will be working with Angular components, Bootstrap classes, mainly container, margin, padding. And also we will learn about Bootstrap grid, which is nothing but a 12 column grid that we'll use. I'll show you how to use different uh, combinations to create different layouts. Finally, we'll also be using Bootstrap Navbar, which we'll be using for putting the dynamic responsive menu. So to give you some of the examples of the layout we will be covering. So the first layout is a single header. It will, the layout will have a single header and then a single container, right? So you can also call it one column template. Now, this is a modified version of the same. We will be building a header, one column layout and footer. This is two column layout. So you will have a header and sidebar and main container, which is a two column layout. Now this is an addition to that. We will have a header, we'll have two column layout and we will build a footer. Similarly, uh, we will also learn how to put header with three column layout and footer. So these are some of the mainly used layouts that you will see in modern applications. So as part of this, tutorial series you will learn how to build all of it so in the in the next episode we will build with first with header and single container before we do that we will learn about bootstrap grid and then we will start to learn container and navbar so in the next episode i am telling you how to use bootstrap grid in detail so make sure you check out the next episode thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode